Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw a diamond heart icon in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new document, 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. And I'm going to select the pen tool, deselect the fill, just so we have a black stroke. And if we just left click on the artboard, and we're going to draw half of our diamond heart. So let's left click and like a dot to dot, we're just going to draw this first half. Now, if you have your smart guides on, it will quite handily snap back to the center here. And you'll see it wants to continue drawing another line. Let's just go up to select and deselect and it will remove that selection. If your smart guides aren't activated, go to view and just check they're switched on. And then you can use the direct selection tool just to move these anchor points around individually until you're happy with the shape of the first part of your heart. Once you're happy with everything, just drag over the selection and go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and then go to object, transform, reflect and reflect along the vertical axes. And it will flip this round and you can just hold shift and drag this copy over. And with your smart guides on, it will nicely snap in place like so. Now these are still two different shapes. However, if we select the direct selection tool, just zoom in a little bit and we'll drag over where these two shapes intersect. So we've selected both of these end anchor points here. Just drag over them, go to object, path and select join. And we'll do the same at the bottom. Just drag over where the two points meet at the bottom and go to object, path, and join. Now with the main selection tool, if you drag this around, you'll notice that it is now one complete shape. So we've essentially got the shape for our diamond heart and we can scale this up holding alt and shift to scale up from the center. And we can use this option at the top to align to the artboard and position it both horizontally and vertically. So we know that it's central on the page. Next, what we can do is just drag over everything. And in the strokes panel, we can increase the weight of our stroke. So we'll make this one a bit thicker. Let's go for 14. And you can slightly round off the corners if you like. Let's just zoom in. So you can have them with straight edges or you can just select the middle option, which is the round corner. And it will just round them off ever so slightly, whichever is your preference. Now next, what we're going to do is we're going to create the diamond effect within this heart. So again, select the pen tool. And in the stroke panel, let's go for half the width of our outline. So let's select seven. Now the two tools that we will be using now are going to be the pen tool. And we're going to be using the select and deselect option. So it's worth learning this shortcut because it will come in handy. So what we're going to do is join up the different points. So we can see here that it very nicely highlights all of our different anchor points. And we're simply going to left click on one of them to start and we'll drag this up to this one in the top left corner. Now again, you'll see it wants to continue that path on and we're just going to go to select, deselect, or just use that shortcut. So we're going to do this again, select that bottom anchor point, join to the top, use the shortcut to deselect the current selection and just keep going. So we're just left clicking and dragging with the pen tool and then deselecting the current selection. And we're going to go across now as well. So you'll see the smart guides nicely snap that in place. And again, select, deselect. And we're gonna go from here now, over to here. And we can continue that one on down to there. And then we just got couple more to do. So where these two lines intersect, we'll drag that up. 
deselect and one more here and we've just got a little bit of a bump there so let's just see if we can remove that let's just try dragging this up slightly or dragging this down just to remove that little bump so we just drag this anchor point a bit lower there we go that seems to have done the job so we've created the diamond heart shape itself if we drag over all of the lines we've created. These strokes are still editable, so you can always keep an editable version if you'd like to change the width of the lines at a later date. However, once you're happy, I would recommend going to Object and Expand. The reason for this is if you try and adjust the size with all the strokes still editable, it will remember those stroke widths. So as you scale the shape up or down, it will remember the stroke widths and won't scale proportionally. So if we go to Object and Expand with everything selected, leave both Fill and Stroke selected and click OK. You can go into Outline View by pressing Command or Control Y. So you'll see that this is how it looks as a stroke. And once you've expanded it, it becomes shapes. So you can't easily edit the stroke width anymore. However, if we try and scale this up, it will keep the same proportions regardless. So this is quite a useful step to do once you're totally happy with your design and you're just looking to kind of finalize it a little bit more and you don't need to change anything. But it's always worth keeping an editable version handy just in case you do want to change the lines at a later date. So now we can see that we've got lots of different shapes here. In outline view it's showing all these different shapes and we can move them around and we want to make this all one shape. So if we just drag over everything and in the Pathfinder panel select the top left option Unite and you'll see that it turns this into one complete shape and as we select this it now moves around as one complete shape as well. So lastly we're going to select the rectangle tool and just draw a four-sided shape that covers the entire width and height of our artboard and go to object arrange center back and just make sure that you select the fill and just double click a swatch tick global and preview and then pick a color of your choice and then I'm going to select the diamond heart icon that we've created and you can see here it has a black fill currently and you can just pick any color that you like and it will change the entire shape to that color and there we go that's how to draw a diamond heart icon in adobe illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time